Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just want to hop on here and do a quick little haul video and show you guys some of my recent purchases. Um, it's going to be a lot of cute little bags and then one really super cute bag charm. Um, so if you're interested in today's video, do stay tuned. And then just a full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking, subscribing, because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Okay, so the first bag I want to talk about is this one here, which is the cargo shoulder bag. Um, this is the smaller size, I believe. So there's two sizes of this bag. There is a larger model and this one. Um, this is the smaller size and it's really cute, I think. It's like a good like everyday size um, for me personally, just because I don't carry that much stuff. Um, and as you can see, the bag itself is in like a black nylon material. It has like brass um, hardware trim throughout the bag. And then as you can see too, it does have two large buckles on each side that you can adjust to make the bag longer or shorter um and the cool thing about like the cargo collection is that they have these really cute like cargo pockets on the front and they are um like opened and closed via like turn locks and stuff so it's super cute and then you can see too kind of the vintage rose print on the inside of the bag itself um, and then the pockets too. So here are like the turn lock pockets and then the really pretty rose print on the inside of the bag. Ta-da! The reason why I bought this bag is mainly for like the material itself. I don't have a lot of like nylon bags in my collection. Um, so I thought this would be like a really fun addition. And I also already have the larger version of this bag too. And I love the look of the larger bag, but it's kind of like too big for me to use on like an everyday basis. So I think the smaller one might be really good because, you know, I don't really have that much with me to carry around um, every day. So I think this would be a better size. And I also um, am planning to use this bag as a crossbody bag as well um, because I do have the Emery like shoulder bag with a crossbody strap and I think I will um, change up the shoulder strap of this bag for the crossbody strap of that one and use it as like a little crossbody bag so love that okay so the next bag I picked up is this one right here which is the pillow tabby 18 in the color rouge um, with brass hardware and as you can see behind me I already have the pillow tabby 18 in the pale lime color and I use that one so much that I justified getting this one in pink um, pink is one of my favorite colors so I thought this would be a really fun addition to my collection and I also love it because it also has brass hardware as well which is honestly I think like my hardware preference when it comes to hand bags I just love gold and brass hardware um, because I feel like it's a lot easier to interchange a lot of bag straps and stuff for my collection um, for example like the beat shoulder strap um, that is in brass hardware so that actually looks super great on the pillow tabbies but besides that point um, I think it's just like a really cute little bag um, and I do have a couple trips planned in September as well so I think this bag would be really cute on those trips and I don't know, I just think this rouge color also looks really pretty as well. And you guys already probably know the Pillow Tabby 18 as well. It just has you know, the little magnet and then the two compartments on the inside. Um, and I still have the little like um, protective tape on the magnet that I need to take off. But yeah, super cute and little. So the next item is a bag charm and it's this little guy right here which is the rogue um, bag charm in the color amazon green and this is a new little bag charm that is coming out um, in the next couple months it is so cute and adorable as you can see it is in the color green on like the body of the bags so the front and back and then is color blocked as well on the sides with the handle and it is a bag charm so you do have a cute little um clasp right here in the brass hardware that you can attach onto um, other bags and stuff or just use on its own. The thing I love most about this bag charm is that it actually is constructed just like a rogue. So it has, you know, the two functioning top handles and then on the inside it has three compartments which is insane. Um, so you have two open sections here and then a center zip compartment which is so cool. Um, and then you can actually put a good amount of stuff on the inside. Like this little charm actually holds credit cards. So 
what my thought process was is that um, I will be converting this into a micro bag and using it for the fall um, or honestly like next week um, so I will keep you guys posted on that and how I convert this little bag charm into an actual purse um, but it is just so cute and adorable and then cool thing too about this bag charm is that it's actually made of genuine um, glove tan leather because as you can see on the bottom of the charm itself it even has the um, stamping at the bottom and the gold foil so that is so cool um so yeah that is the little rogue charm okay so last item in today's video is actually a really cool bag in my opinion um it's really fun and quirky just like me <laughs> um but I think it's just like a really cool bag um but I have been really liking it a lot this past week um if you guys follow me on, on Instagram you guys probably already know what bag I'm talking about just because I've taken a ton of photos of it um and that is this bag right here which is the Rogue Tote 29 in this really cool like canvas material um and the cool thing too about this tote bag is that if you look on the front um you'll notice that there are a couple of cool details like these um fake pockets and hang tag um it's a part of the collection for this upcoming fall winter that deals with like um like illusion I think I don't know like how to explain it but it's like um it's supposed to look like there's something there but there's really not like it's just like you know like printed on um but it's not even like printed on like if you look at it up close it actually is kind of like a like a velvety material and then it's like embroidered as well like there's like a lot of like dimension and texture to um the bag itself so that's like really cool and then i flipped the tote to the back side so you guys can see the um print a little bit better but it is really cool because um you know there's like the light c that is just like the standard c print but behind that um it kind of looks like there's like a mirage or like an illusion going on on um, where like the c print is like casting a shadow it's really cool in my opinion just because you know it gives the bag a lot more dimension and depth in that regard so it looks really cool and then here's like the front again and then the bottom it doesn't have any feet because it is just a pretty standard canvas tote bag and then the sides as well and here's a quick look at the inside of the bag so it is just one large open compartment with a little um snap pocket right there and it is just lined in a um like canvas material as well and then the cool thing too is that this is a 1941 bag so on one of the little zip tabs here um there is a little 1941 stamp um right there and then it also has cowhide stamp underneath it as well so that, I think that's like really cool um and then it also has the new rogue handles as well so as you can see um the handles do like fold outwards um because they do roll which I think is really cool and then obviously the extra shoulder straps reason why I love this bag so much honestly is that it's like really fun and quirky just like me um I think this bag just has a lot of personality to it because you know like the really fun um imaginary pockets and I don't know it's just like a really fun tote bag and I mean it is a tote bag so it is also like super practical at the same time um for me I do like to carry the bag handheld like this sometimes but if I'm being honest I always carry it as a shoulder bag so what I do is I just leave the um like zip top open like so and then I'll flop the handles onto the inside like that and then I'll just carry the bag as um like a normal tote bag like this and I think it looks really great like this um the canvas has held up really well it's super thick and substantial in my opinion so um that's really cool and it just holds everything because it is a tote bag so it's just a really great you know everyday bag um with a lot of fun personality to it so yeah there's that. Okay, so it does it for today's video over all my recent purchases. Um, if you guys have any questions about the items, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well. Um, and if you guys do like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And also um, follow me on Instagram too for more handbag pictures. So yeah, other than that guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!